Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Welcome to IS205 lecture series and this video is the number 3 on the topic of macro creation. Why do we need macro in Excel? Macro is actually a set of instructions that you record and it can be executed when it is needed. We use macro for automated tasks or some repetitive tasks that we need to do uh, in daily basis or in weekly basis or monthly basis. For example, we want to format the features and functions or data entry and validations or even the data selections, data output or the forms that we used uh, for interactive with the users or sometimes we um, we need to do um, uh, on each report for example the header of our report uh, we will repetitively um, write up uh, who prepared the report and what are the report or the title of the report is and also um, the name of your department, so let's say accounting department or finance department. Uh, so this repetitive task uh, sometimes exhausting your energy. So using macro will minimize your effort and definitely will uh, reduce your time to do the report. Okay, steps to create the macro using the recording method there are some other uh, method of creating macro but it's a bit um advanced level so uh, in this video i will only show you how uh, to create macro using the recording method so from the um the ribbon view tab you can click macros usually at the end uh, on the on the right of your screen so you have a macros then you click recording and it will pop up a small window to record the macro so you will name the macro the macro for example i use to type the header one because i want to create a report header and the short key you can use let's say control plus q or control plus a or control plus um, i it doesn't matter as long as you you want to um to use the short uh, shortcut key um, rather than you run the uh, macro you just type the short shortcut key and uh, you can store the macro in personal workbook. When it says that personal workbook means that um, every time you open up a new workbook or uh, um, a new file, then this particular macro that you have been recorded will appear. Means that you can use in any workbook. Uh, if you store the macro in this worksheet uh, option, so the macro is only for this particular worksheet um, or, you, or you choose the new workbook means that this macro only available for the newer files that you created. The description, yeah, you can put anything um, that to describe what is the macro that you want to create. Um, let's say um, I typed uh, header report one then you click ok so then after you click ok you will type or do any instruction that you require for the excels to memorize the steps for example i type uh, the num the name of the company the name of the department uh, the word title report um, the word date of report prepared by and also the data analyzed by. Okay, always remember whenever you do report in the future for working, 
environment always put your name in the report uh, because um, your supervisor may not want to you for, for um, to recognize your work so you would want the other bosses to acknowledge the effort that you um, do for this particular report so better put let's say i put my name on the data analyzed report so once you um uh, satisfied with um uh, the kind of um, header report, for example, that I put there, the, um, the name of the company and the name of the department. I increase the font so that it will be bigger than uh, the other titles. Then once I fit, uh, once you are satisfied or finished, then you go to uh, ribbon view tab again. Then you click macros and you click the stop recording. It means that whatever you record just now is stopped at last and data analyzed by it and then put your name. Um, that is um, the uh, macro that you want to be memorized. To run the macro, uh, let's say you choose a new worksheet. Um, to paste that particular macro uh, that you have recorded just now. For example, uh, we have, uh, I have created the header uh, report uh, that I created just now. So to run the macro, you go to ribbon view tab, then you will click macros, and then choose which macro to be run because after you click macro uh, the um, the pop-up uh, windows uh, will appear just like this uh, the macros and then the, you will choose which macro uh, in my example is only one the header one so I choose header one and then I click run the macro Tada! the new worksheet um, has been pasted for with the macro that we recorded just now so it will appear automatically uh, in the new worksheet as per recorded just now so that's it a very very simple uh, way to do the macro using the recording method watch out for the next video on other topics for the ice 205 lecture series bye bye